It's the remedy. We call this a refix. Marshall Montano. Hey. The original Mr. Diamond himself. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. I like it. I like it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm rocking a more natural look today because I want to focus more on skin. Now, there's a big trend going around on social media about setting powders before your liquid foundation. And for someone who's been doing makeup for a very long time, this routine is more for someone who's more on the oily side. So when I see the whole setting powder before foundation stuff, I'm like, yeah. I've been telling my clients to do something like this for like ever. And the whole technique with the setting powder first, especially on someone of a more chocolatey skin, um, doesn't work that well. What I do do on my clients, I'm just going to share the secret since it's already out there, is that I would use foundation powder. Yes. In this video, you're going to be seeing me using the foundation powder first. And then over top of that, I put my liquid foundation. And you're going to get more of a natural, more um, seamless, set makeup more than anything. Alright, and this is for my oily clients. Oily clients or someone whose makeup seems to not last long throughout the day. Alright, stay tuned and keep watching if you want to learn how to do this step. Okay, so first things first, you want to get your powder. I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix powder. I think I'm going to go with the NW45 because I want to look a little bit warmer because the color that I'm going to use over top is going to be the NC, which is a little bit more on the yellow side. So this is going to be a more rosy tone foundation. So I'm going to use this. Grabbing a flat brush, grabbing this product. My skin is already primed, prepped and primed, okay? We're gonna go in. If you need to correct before applying this, do your correction first and then do the powder. My eyebrows are already done, and that's it. You look like I have an eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm not though. So, as you can see, the powder is mattifying the face and giving a little bit of coverage. That's the whole point of using an actual foundation powder as your base before your liquid. So, it's giving me a little bit of coverage. You see all these marks up here? I wear a lot of bangs, and so this happens. You're going to do something like that. Honestly, the only time I do this is during the summertime when it's really hot. And I don't want to wear a lot of liquids on my face. So I'll put my powder on. I can wear this alone and then correct onto my eyes with a little concealer. But if I want that extra beat, I wear my liquid over top. So this is what you'll end up with. See so that? I look very mattified, very powdered down, and that's that. Now my next step after that, now remember this is for your oily skin client or someone who wants their makeup to last a little bit longer in their skin because your foundation slips and slides everywhere. I'm grabbing my MAC Studio Fix foundation. And then I'm just going to pat that over top. You see how this is a little bit more yellow? This is like my winter tone. But when I mix it a little bit with the red, it kind of helps balance it out. I don't know. This summer I haven't really got as much color as I used to. I haven't been anywhere. I haven't even been to the beach. Sorry if you're hearing any noise. I have my fan on. It's hot. So just like so. 
so you see that so because I'm wearing a powder underneath I'm using less of the liquid foundation but I'm still getting that flawless finish I have a best friend she's pretty oily like extremely oily and I always tell her about doing this powder in her face before her foundation I've been telling her to do this for years she can advocate for this technique so just like so you see that and because the liquid is over top of the, the powder foundation it's actually setting itself like you don't have to go back in with a powder over top of it Some people are anal and I'm probably still wear like myself. <laughs> but you don't have to. But this is it right here. See that? Quick and easy. One, two, three. Just like so. See that? Alright. We're going to move on to the rest step of the whole entire makeup. But that was just something that was very important for me to show you guys exactly how this foundation powder foundation on the liquid foundation works okay